Oh, well, welcome back to Virginia this morning. You know, we are on fire here during this show, quite literally and figuratively. We're cooking uh, pizza tonight with uh, good friends right here, Victoria DeRoche and Stephanie Gans, our my man over there on the uh, brick oven who is as cool as a cucumber on the other side of the pillow, Mr. Evan right there. He's going to be putting the pizza in. Hey, ladies, great to see you here. Uh, see you. Last time we saw you cooked uh, a pizza for breakfast, but now we're going pizza tonight. Stephanie, it's great to see you. To what see are we going to be making here today? Well, we're making our fig and pig, which is a signature pizza um, and people really love it. It's fig preserves, prosciutto, and gorgonzola. So I'm going to start to stretch out the dough. Let's do it. All right. And we'll talk to Stephanie over here. I should say, uh, Victoria, Victoria, tell us what is the difference between brick oven pizza and then just the regular um, gas cooked pizza? Well, brick oven pizza is better, of course. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's very unique because it's actually the first way that they made pizza. Um, also, it cooks in 90 seconds. So it's something, it's very immediate. It gets very hot in the oven. The floor of the oven is about 700 degrees and uh, it makes a delicious, delicious pizza. Stephanie, what are we doing over here? All right, so we've stretched out our dough and now we're adding a little bit of olive oil. Um, and that is just to help us spread the fig preserves. So we take a nice spoonful and then a little extra. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna spread this nice and evenly. And you see that oil really helps it spread around nicely there. So we get a nice base. So we don't really use a traditional sauce. We use the fig preserves as the sauce for this pizza. This is the sauce. It looks almost like a jelly. It is. It's fig preserves. So it's exactly that. It is a kind of jelly. Um, and we were just talking to Cheryl about fresh figs when they're in season. Obviously, we love to use those. We have just uh, a little bit of gorgonzola crumbles, which we'll put on there as well. Gorgonzola, a little strong for yes, the... Yes, uh... exactly. It's a nice uh, Italian blue cheese. Um, we, we use a nice uh, gorgonzola with the prosciutto as well. So we just lay that prosciutto on top and we... This is so thin. It's a, it's a, it's a thin ham, Exactly. Right? It's a very thin ham. It's nice and salty. So what you get there is you get the sweet from the fig preserves. You get the salty from the prosciutto and the cheese. And best case scenario, you get a beautiful pizza at the end. So we actually have one already made that we're going to throw into the oven. Ready to go for 90 seconds. Go. All right, here That's we go. Right. We're going to give this to uh, Evan. Mr. Evan is manning the brick oven. And what is it like when you pull up with uh, this trailer for pizza tonight? It's uh, pretty impressive. Um, people like to see uh, the oven, you know, sort of smoking down the street. Um, and when they see it in their front lawn, it's even more impressive. So um, it's a great thing to bring for weddings, for catering. And then we also set up places like Hardywood Brewery where people are ready for pizza. Oh, pizza and beer, nothing wrong with that. And Victoria, I have to ask, uh, with this brick oven right here, you show up, I'm sure, with 90 seconds. You're churning out a lot of pizza. We do, and when we do a catering job, we offer it buffet style. So it's always replenished pizzas. You get a variety of different stuff. Um, it's delicious. There's something for everybody. Tell me, uh, how, do you, how do you heat this brick oven? What's, what's causing the fire? Typically, we need to get there about an hour ahead of time, and we have cured hardwood that has been, um, you know, pre-cut. Evan will build a little uh, fire house and light the fire, gets the floor of the oven heated. And then once the floor of the oven is heated to the correct temperature, he pushes the fire back and then sweeps off the deck of the oven and cooks the ovens directly on the deck. Look at this. This is 90 seconds right here. Evan, how are we doing over here, buddy? Doing great. Yeah, doing great. You, do you, uh, so this 700 degree oven, I would imagine 100 degree day for you is nothing. It's nothing. I'm more worried about the sunburn then. <laughs> more worried about the sunburn. How's this pizza looking right here? It, um, you know, I'm just going to go with delicious as my, uh, <laughs> my can answer for all the pizzas because it's, it is. What, when the, with the gorgonzola and the, the preserves. Uh, what are some of the reactions that you get, Steph? Well, people are always a little surprised by the combination at first, but we've had people who are die-hard margarita, you know, classic mozzarella tomato sauce fans. They take one bite and they don't look back. So it's a really kind of rewarding thing to see somebody kind of get out of their comfort zone and really enjoy it. Um, we set up sometimes a little bit earlier in the day and people find it's a good kind of brunch pizza. Um, so that's something that has been unique, but it's a flavor combination that we really like. We actually do a prosciutto wrapped date that's stuffed Ooh. with gorgonzola for our catering menu. We love so it. yeah, it's a popular combo. We really like it. Well, Stephanie, Victoria, Evan, thank you so much. And thank you for joining us. Pizza served for pizza tonight for us here in Virginia this morning. Thanks so much. The line is already forming. Bill's got his napkin.